Welcome back to yet another Star Stable video. As always, please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And today, Star Stable actually released a new Icelandic to the Horses app. If you haven't guessed already, I think it's the dapple, the slight dapple gray. You'll see what I mean. And I'm going to show you it in game just in case you're planning on getting it and stuff like that. And what it looks like in game to actually ride it and getting it and buying it. So yeah, let's get right into the video then. I post new Star Stable videos every single day. Let's go. Also, happy Thanksgiving if you do celebrate it. Okay, here we are in Star Stable, and I'm actually really excited for this horse because, I don't know, this was like one of the top favorites when the horse was coming out to the game and being released, but this one was actually the app horse, so we did have to wait like one or two weeks after the release in order to see this horse, and I think that I named it something- oh my gosh, did I name it Onion Dip? No, I think I named it Olive Dip in the app, but right now I'll be showing some of the footage on screen of me working to get this horse. It did take me quite a while because it was a little bit glitch. Oh, Maya, why you sit there? <laughs> okay, it was a little bit glitchy, but yeah, I'll play that right now and then we can take a look at the horse in game and what it looks like there. So let's go. Okay, so where is Olive Dip? <gasps> here he is, Olive Dip! Oh my goodness, okay, I need to move all my Icelandics over here. That is not an Icelandic. Okay, there we go. Maybe I should clean up my home stable a little bit. You know, just, just a little bit. I mean, I have tack on all of my horses. Well, some of that, you know, just a little bit. Oh my goodness, Olive Dip is so beautiful. Uh, I absolutely love this Icelandic coat in game. I, I actually was not expecting it to be this detailed. It might actually be more detailed than buttering over here just because it's like a darker coat. It still does have dapples, but with olive dip, I mean, look at this detail that is in this horse. You could see the dapples on its legs and I like how they stand out on the legs a bit more because it's like a darker gray on the legs. And then also over here, you could see the light dapples and and even on its face, it has some dapples and like some fur texture on its face as well. I was actually contemplating naming this horse Thanksgiving since I did get it on Thanksgiving, but that could be the nickname. And I also want to go to the main stylist to choose a new main style for this horse because as you see, it has a very beautiful marking on its face and head that of course we need to check out. Or should I say of horse needs to check out. So let's go and get it. The mane does look a little bit different. I feel like Buttering's mane, the ones that were in game were a little bit more not shaded as much as this mane. I don't know, it just looks a little bit different in my opinion. Look, Emily Cat Paws over here got it too. But yeah, this horse is definitely serving me like winter-esque vibes. So I really do like it. And I think that I want to get a mane with like, I don't know. I, the Aggle Tiki one's like kind of calling to me, guys. I don't know. I don't like it. But at the same time, look at that beautiful face. Okay, like we could do all the close-ups here. It isn't, even has like dapples near its mane that would be co covered otherwise. So, okay, like this is cute. I mean, the braids... The braids is always a good go-to kind of main style, but I actually kind of want get- <laughs> I kind of want get- No, I kind of want to get the Aquil Tiki main style. Guys, don't be mad. I know it'll look so bad, but just trust me. I don't know. It. I don't know. I don't know why I wanted my horse to look like this, but I just think it's a little bit cute, you know? And this way I could show you guys the details a little bit better in my opinion. So let me just show you guys the details of this horse in case you are wanting it. Become a wild horse. 
course and zoom in on those details real quick why is there a blade of grass in my view okay let's do that all right so this is what the horse looks like close up as you could see i really do like its face markings it has like all of these shiny shimmery dapples on there and the face markings kind of go with the socks in my opinion just because it's a darker gray up there as well its nose has really good shading like that dark gray definitely a 10 out of 10 and i feel like this horse is one of the more detailed icelandics because as you see if i zoom in there is all of these fur details here and also along like the mouth is that the mouth along the mouth there are these fur details as well and the shading's just pretty good and it also has details on its face and dapples i should say on its face which is really cute it has this one dapple right here which i did not notice and it does not have heterochromia it has both brown hazel eyes and for the hooves the hooves are kind of like a gray again pretty detailed with like the stripes on them of darker gray i really do like that and the little um socks here they do have some like tiger stripe stuff going on which i think is really cute in my opinion kind of like not dapples but patches of dapple like you see that it's kind of dapple patchy and over here it's dapple patchy as well which is very cute and even on the inside of its leg it has dapple patchy guys dapple patches and it also has dapples here and also dapples kind of hidden that were going to be hidden by the mane and that's why i went with the shaved aquatiki. tiki i know it looks like a pig it looks so weird but it's good it's cute we love that for it yeah look it has dapples there i just this horse is very detailed over here we have some shading very nice and also dapples that stand out of the shading it is not symmetrical as you can see which is always a plus and it doesn't really have that line down the center but it just has this very kind of faint line down the center you know like it, it's still there it's just very very faint but yeah this is basically what the horse looks like a quick 360 for you all and what it looks like in game now of course i will show you the gates and stuff like that but i don't know this icelandic horse in my opinion i would say is a 10 out of 10 just because of the face i really like the face markings on it and you do have to raise it through the app that's why olive dip is already level 10 in case you're wondering i did not train olive dip at all it just got that way through the app and i think it takes like five days on the app if you do like go back every day and like do all the chores that you can with the horse and stuff like that but this man the wig is so weird why did i go you know what no i like the apple tea it's unique we're going with that besties it's definitely unique but yeah for some reason i just felt like going with that not talking about the main style anymore we're done talking about it but if we zoom in again i just want to show you guys the details on its face that is just the cutest. I don't know. I really love these face markings. And for a gray, I think they did very good with it. Here are the gates yet again. Of course, I do have like an in-depth gate video where you could see it compared to the Generation 2 horses. So if you want to see that, definitely feel free to. But this is the walk. Again, it's same as all the other Icelandics. Oh, someone's in my way. Okay, and then the trot again. I really like the trot in my opinion. I think it's pretty cute and goes with the horse. Its mouth does open on the trot, which I mean is a little, it's good. And this is the canter, you know, like we got that voluminous wind in the tail. I was going to say the mane, but I deleted the mane from existence. So we don't have that anymore. And then we have the flying pace. I forgot what it was. I was stuttering. I stuttered. I mean, yeah, there's a bird outside. That is so cute. And after the flying pace, we have the gallop, which this is the slow gallop just because it is a little bit slower so you could see it better. And this is what I call the fast gallop because it does pick up a little bit of speed there. So those are all of the gates i lied we still have the rear that's what the rear looks like very very lovely the backup and then we have the hard stop can't forget to show that i really like what the tail does on the hard stop i think that's pretty cute and then of course we have its famous tolt again i really do like this tolt i'd rate this horse 10 out of 10 but for the details and the horse coat itself i would probably say a 10 out of 10 as well like i don't usually go for gray horses just because star stable usually doesn't add like dapples or like stripes or anything like that to them but with this 
this horse they did do a little bit of adding i don't know if it's necessarily a full gray just because it has this darker gray socks here or let me know what you would call this coat color in the comments as i really do appreciate it and yeah this is basically what the gray app horse looks like again i'd say in my opinion that this horse is one of the ones worth getting if you really like its coat color because most of the other coat colors that this horse has is um not from the app and also like as you can see this one here that is like not a gray but if it was then yeah i don't know but like the generation 2 compared to the generation 2 coat they definitely added a lot more of like work into it with stripes and dapples and stuff like that so i would definitely recommend you get it and start working your way up this horse can be bought through the foals app i mean the horses app in star stable and you have to raise it for five consecutive days and then you could finally get it and yeah this is basically what the horse looks like let me l know your opinions on the horse in the comments down below and if you would be wanting to get it or not and yeah in my opinion i think it's worth it just because of the detail put into this gray horse compared to like one of these where it's a regular dark where it's a regular black lusitano and it's just shading whereas here we have all of the how do you call it the dapples and stuff like that so yeah i definitely rate this horse a solid 11 out of 10 also i just bought the aqual tiki mane but there are a lot others that show off the dapple existence with this mane. Fjord mane. I don't know. I really like seeing face marking. So I would either go with this one or that one in my opinion. Just to see its lovely face marking. But yeah, leave your opinions on this horse in the comments down below. Bye everyone. Thank you so much for watching the Star Stable video. As always, please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. As it truly does make my day. And I put out new Star Stable videos every single day. Also, if you want a chance to win 500 star coins, I will have a... A pinned comment in the comments down below with a link to a giveaway that ends December 4th so definitely be sure to check it out and happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate it I hope you guys have the best day ever leave your thoughts on olive dip in the comments down below and I look forward to reading them and try to reply to as many as possible and yeah bye <laughs>